What's up, everybody? Peace and love. So it's a new day. I'm post up at the Goodwill right now. Just trying to sell some things. I got a couple things just sitting out in front of the van that I don't need, and I don't really have space for either. So uh, hopefully we'll find somebody that's interested. Um, went to the gym today, put in some good work. Got a good sweat in, feeling good. Actually slept pretty good last night too. So um, like I said, I'm just chilling here trying to catch some sales the legal way and organizing things, trying to get a better configuration for everything, see what type of space I'm working with and all that. And um, I thought I'd leave here in a little while, probably about another 45 minutes or so. I'll go get some food. Well, I got some food, but I need to go heat it up. So I'm gonna go use 7-Eleven's microwave. And we're gonna go from there. I'm just chilling up at Kohl's right now. Stealing some free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Kinda in the middle of a YouTube rabbit hole. Well, I'm really all over the place. Just wrapping some crystals. I got this moonstone right here. That I just did as well as this blue cow site. She don't want to focus. I'll insert some better shots of them in the middle. Yo, check this out. Yeah, I'm just grabbing fresh pieces out of this pack and uh, covering them with the beeswax as soon as they touch the air and uh, cleaned up some of my older pieces well not old but you know this one's Yogi's I'm gonna be sending that to him here in a couple of days and it's the clear quartz I'll be wearing on a regular when I'm not wearing my black tourmaline which is like daily go to keep away the negative energy so yeah, I ain't, I didn't really record anything yesterday. Been kind of in my head about stuff. I'm just trying to keep a level mindset and um, push forward. I'm waiting on these car parts to come in. I'm supposed to be here on Friday. Now it says Saturday. Then I checked last night and it says Sunday. And now it says Saturday again. So who fucking knows, right? <laughs> but I really need that to get here ASAP. Um, she getting a little rough after it warms up. It's just kind of doing a little buck. And based on all the research I've done, which I've probably put three, four hours of Googling and running down t forums from the mid 2000s all the way to 2014, 2015 era, just looking into what it all could be. And what I ordered is basically the root cause of all these different codes that have been randomly popping up. I've almost put a thousand miles on this thing since I bought it. I think I'm at 980 around there. So I'm really trying not to put any more miles on it until I get those parts in. And today is Thursday as I'm recording this. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm really just, I'm hoping that maybe they get here tomorrow night, maybe, but who knows? Like I said, so I just kind of want to fill y'all in. I'm about to do an amethyst piece and a fluorite piece as well uh, got a good workout in at the gym today feeling stronger <laughs> yeah I'm still small but I'm gonna be big one day so um yeah kinda just want to fill y'all in on what's going on like I said I ain't been recording too much do have some things to show you I got a package from my people yesterday kinda a birthday package with a whole bunch of different stuff in it the box said trash can so I thought it was a trash can and I was like I was like what the fuck is it like no way and I'm like what the fuck is all this stuff so I get out run down on that stuff later on um I really need to get up in my roof box and get some things out of there and resituate some stuff in there so I can put more stuff in there and um get it out of the car area and uh cause I'm really trying to get this space together so that I can have my daughter for a few days I just want her to be able to sleep comfortably in here with me being able to sleep comfortably as well. So, um, 
I'm just trying to figure out the best scenario to make that happen. But I want to spend some time with my little baby girl. Um, since I've been in here, I haven't got to spend too much time with her, especially given the running situation. Like I said, I'm trying not to put too many miles on it, but I've already put a good amount of miles on it. And I really want to change the oil too, because it's got oil got changed at like a take quick take five oil change or whatever it's called. And I don't trust places like that. I always change my own oil. I don't trust oil change places because it's not their job to care. It's their job to flush it and dump it. So I'm probably going to end up changing the oil here as well. I did just sell a crystal piece this morning to a nice gentleman, Michael, that I met at the gym. I think I spoke to you all about that. And I'll, I'll put a clip in of the piece that I sold him. And um, so yeah, that's why I'm working on some more. I'm, I'm going to try and set up a TikTok shop. You know, I don't really use TikTok. I just made one like a couple of days ago for the first time ever. But most of y'all can't say that. <laughs> but I'm going to set up a TikTok shop and put some pieces up on there and try and make some more sales, man. I mean, I love to do this. And uh, I found a really good outlet for crystals a couple of days ago, searching for the piece for Michael. Um, that has a very wide selection and a lot of natural pieces as well as polished pieces. So... Like I can really make something happen with this. So that's really my aim here. That's, that's really my goal. Here's the rainbow moonstone I've just completed. With a magnet placed at the top and bottom. To increase the magnification of energy that much more. I also handpicked this piece myself. Due to its natural feel. Tell me you don't love that. I'm going to get it cleaned up and get it to the client tomorrow. Let me know what y'all think, man. Much love. The grand rising to you all. So I just woke up to a bunch of love on the YouTube. So if you're new here, thank you very much. Much love to you. I appreciate the comments and the likes and all the views. I guess the algorithm is really starting to fuck with me. So I'm very appreciative for that. I took down one, but I still got window covers up and everything. And like I say, I woke up to that, so I'm in a pretty good mood. Um, I'm about to take the rest down, get some gas and head straight to the gym, get it in. And um, I'm probably going to get my daughter as, way, as well today and have her sleep in here with me for a night. Let's see how that goes. Um, she may end up just sleeping in her car seat, which she does pretty well. So I'll get some extra blankets in there with her and let her use my extra pillows that I haven't been using. I got to show you guys some stuff too today, so I'll be taking a clip um, to let you know all the things that I received. There's some pretty neat stuff in there. Um, I'm currently trying to find a laptop. I've applied for a couple of different places as well, including a delivery position. So really just waiting to see what the next step is going to be and I wrapped four crystals yesterday as well so I'm going to be posting my TikTok down below as well as my Instagram so if you want to stay more up to date on those types of things as opposed to waiting for videos that's definitely a possibility I just had a thought man like I just seen all these kids at the bus stop and they all just on their phones like they don't even know each other man we used to be at the bus stop having a good old time bro i'm talking about just chilling just messing everybody messing with everybody it might be little groups but it's just like we was all there and like i, I maybe it was before phones was big you know because i'm i'm 26 but like that's just crazy to think about like you go to the same school with these people for years and y'all don't even talk to each other. <laughs> you see each other every day. Like, it's not how it used to be. I don't know. It's just a crazy thought I had. I miss them days, especially middle school. 
it was like damn near 20 of us at the bus stop in the morning and they that was it was a good time man but i'm pulling up to the gas station now so we're gonna get this gas and go get these gains the gym went great today pushed it pretty hard i try to you know i'm not trying to do too much every day but every day i do my base and then monday wednesdays fridays I really try to do try a new machine every time and really just push so I I I don't even know what the machines are called but I did a bunch of extra stuff today along with my base and I got me got me feeling really good and I'm really seeing the difference in my body and feeling the difference in my body as well so if you don't exercise every day do something whether you taking a nice long walk whether you doing squats whether you just I, I mean it could be whatever move your body you it will benefit you believe me trust me okay so i'm sitting up at the goodwill right now i just left the pawn shop i had a tv mount I've had it on the marketplace for a while and nobody's interested so i was just like screw it i just took it to the pawn shop and they gave me five bucks for it whatever it's better than giving it to goodwill for free for them to sell for 30 40 bucks so um I took that to the pawn shop and then I came to Goodwill and I found a charger for this portable DVD player that my sister sent me that she's had for a very long time but hasn't had the charger. So found a charger that works. It's not the proper voltage but it turned on with the charger. So that's all that matters. So when I get my baby I'll be able to let her watch something without having to use data because I've used up a lot of data this month the package that I was sent the other day so let me actually climb back here and grab a few things so I can actually show you excuse my butt I received some wireless beats I'm, I don't know am I using them at the gym I'm not exactly sure yet but it's great to have extra things to utilize and they're wireless like I said so maybe um, maybe even for the baby to watch something I don't know we'll see and then my sister also sent me a GoPro how crazy is that so it works and everything um, I charged it up if it, if it yeah there we go I charged it up and it works and it's holding a good charge and so I just need to find an SD card to save the footage onto and then get a laptop to load the footage onto and to be able to edit it from there and that's gonna be something special I won't be recording off my phone full time so that'll save battery and space on my phone as well as give you guys higher quality videos because this thing can do 4k at 90 frames per second which is pretty crazy and this is it's got a little mount attached to it as well which is actually also a protective case I pop it out right here it's tight it's actually a protective case so that's very that's splendid battery's good and everything so sis I really appreciate you for that that's beautiful I'm definitely gonna be using this this will open up the possibilities for these videos a lot more so expect some crazy things coming I already try to do a good bit with editing I use power director I'm sure you can see that down there in the corner um, and they have a really great free software that you can use on mobile but I believe that they have a desktop version as well so that's more than likely what I'll use once I do get a laptop um, just to keep transparency as well as a system that I already know how to use I mean I know how to use other editing softwares but more recently I've had more experience with PowerDirector so I'm definitely gonna continue to use them so shout out to PowerDirector for having a great free version of their app and their software available big shout out to PowerDirector I've, I, couldn't be more thankful for that let's see what else I was also sent this wonderful light that has like seven different modes and doubles as a power bank so I can charge things up with this so it's got main flashlight with two settings sorry about the flashing then it's got a light right here with two settings sorry about the flashing and then it's got a red one that also flashes for like an SOS light and it's got a neat little handle that pops up so maybe if I'm somewhere walking dark I can utilize that and it also has a little clip right here to hang it up so 
if I don't want to utilize the lights on the roof, I can just hang this on one of the hooks on the side and have a nice little light, which I definitely like the red one for. You should definitely sleep with some red light around you. Look it up and thank me later. Um, she also sent me this wonderful little notepad, which I had actually just bought one of, so I actually kind of needed that, as well as a book called Finding Your Balance, a cognitive behavioral therapy workbook. So I'm definitely going to be getting in here and um, and taking a good read and, um, you know, seeing what it has to offer. I've been, um, I've actually been journaling just about every day this year. I've been working really hard to get my thoughts out and to give myself an explanation as far as the day so that I have strength to move forward, so to speak, mental strength, mental clarity to move forward. So that's been a big part of my life this year. Um, I have a list of affirmations that I say every night before bed at the very least. And um, a little prayer type thing that I say as well to the ancestors and to all those who came before me, thanking them and asking for guidance and protection. Really just trying to tap into this energy that we harness and how I really feel as well. And there were some other things as well that I was, she sent me a mesh laundry bag, which I actually almost bought a couple of days ago, so I'm glad I didn't, as well as a pillow. I know you guys can't see it back there, but it's a smaller pillow, probably around this big. So as you can see, it perfectly fits my head. <laughs> um, and that's good. I, I was just using the little smiley face pillow right there, and I usually don't even use a pillow, so the smiley face is kind of thick for me. Um, I, I know I should be using a pillow, but I usually just sleep flat. So, um, there was also another package that I was sent. It's called a hot pot. So it's basically like a normal pot, but it has a heating element inside of it. So once we get a power station, cooking is going to be a lot more probable by utilizing that. And I think it's only like a 700 watt max unit. So getting the right size power station, that will be ideal. Um... So I've got that up in the roof box, just chilling, waiting for the power station. And then... I feel like I'm missing something, honestly. But when I come across it, I will definitely let you guys know what that is. So, I'm gonna eat some food here, real quick. I need to head to the crystal shop and grab some black onyx for my dude, Yogi. Um, so I can send his package out. But they don't open till noon, and it's about 10.30, 10.35 right now. So, I don't know if I'm going to end it here or not. It really just depends. I want to get this out to you guys. Thank you to all the new subscribers and the new viewers and everybody liking and commenting. I so appreciate you. You've given me a lot of motivation to put that much more effort into these videos. So, again, thank you very much. Much love to everyone. Okay, so I cooked this burrito in the microwave, and then I twisted it to keep the heat in, and it resealed itself. Like, I've never experienced this before. I'm actually having a tough time opening it. It resealed itself. What type of shit is that? Got my baby. There's the van. Are we at the park? Time to go play. Time to go play. So we left the park, we had some snacks, we just chilling over here, she's working on her steps, look at her go, don't you fall on camera, good job big girl, <laughs> she's wonderful, but I'm going to end this one right here so I can get it out to y'all, I just want to say much love and thank you to everybody who's new, stick around, there's going to be more to come, so this Van Life can't sign off vlog number four. See you in the next one. Peace.